here in Bruges in the most beautiful city of Belgium and probably also from Europe. All will win, yeah. easily. This is an epic showdown between two teams, Club Brugge and Sterlijk Brugge. This is about the title Ploeg van der Stad. This is the Bruges Derby, so let's jump into it. Welcome to Why We Wish Around the World. I'm your host, Moody, and we are here in Belgium in the most western part of the country, also known as West Flanders. Well, Bruges is also the capital of uh, the west of Flanders. Where a unique blend of dialect, determination and hard work define the people. It's a, it's a very old, old dialect. Uh, it's a bit like uh, there's two old dialects in Belgium. This region known as Flanders is one of the roots of the Dutch-speaking part of Belgium. We found ourselves at the Jan Breidel Stadium. Both clubs, Zerkbrugge and Clubbrugge, share the same stadium. This name refers to the most legendary figure in the past from Bruges itself. He fought against the French and this is a true embodiment of the Flemish identity. We are here in Bruges or also Brugge in Flemish. In this city, it's very known of the many canals, also known as Rijen, and it is also called Venice of the North. The stunning old town, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, was spared from the destruction during both world wars because of its beauty. The stad Brugge is one of the most romantic cities, I think, in in Europa. It is an open lucht museum. Where I ooit wel woonde in België, dat was het Brugge wel, Brugge die schone. The city's name Bruges or Brugge in Flemish can be tracked back to the word brug or bridge. Bruges has a rich Catholic history, serving as the headquarters of the diocese of Bruges. With a population of 118,000, it is the largest city in West Flanders. The people, the residents of Bruges also call themselves Bruggelingen and also Brugse Zotten. Brugse Zotten means crazy people from Bruges. And it doesn't actually mean they are crazy or lunatics, but they are actually very independent. Today Bruges, along with the sister town J. Brugge, is a hub of industry and trade in Belgium. Meanwhile, the inner city is dedicated to culture, tourism and local commerce. Following the Napoleonic Wars, the English actually settled here in the city brought the football game to Belgium and also in Bruges. Sterlijkbrugge has been found on April 9, 1899 as Club Sportief Bourgeois. And they play a lot of games here behind me on this former ground. That's now a park. It is founded by former students of the prestigious Catholic St. Francis Xavier Institute. Called the Les Frères, as the brothers. It's a, it's a Catholic school. The French word circle means a circle. It, it has a French connotation, circle, very late 1800s, uh, or let's say the start of the 20th century. Most people around here that uh, had some power yeah. or influence spoke French. With the medical number 12, circle is nicknamed the Green Black. I forgot to mention, don't call Sherlock Brugge fans a club. They prefer to call themselves as an association, also known as the Vereniging. Ja, de omvang vooral. Sterk is een kleinere ploeg, traditioneelers. However, the club has experienced difficult times, including relegation and a brief stint in the third division in the 1950s. In response to financial troubles, AS Monaco became a major shareholder, providing financial support. Despite this, the goal of Sterk Lekbrugge is to remain independent from Malaysia franchises and clubs. First of all, if, if it weren't for Monaco, we would have been technically bankrupt. Luckily, we're still with Monaco and not no offense, but a Chinese businessman or, I don't know, some Russian investor, uh, you know, that has nothing to do with football. Sherlock Brugge is the first ever Flemish club won the national championship. That makes them in total of three national championships they won so far. And they also won two cups. Founded in 1891, Ex-Brugge Football Club. It was a combination between former students of the Catholic schools and the public schools here in Bruges. Club is uh, in feite qua oorsprong eigenlijk uh, komt vanuit een socialistische zuil is eerder de club van het volk. The blue black colors were originally adopted from the Roman club. 
where many of the players were members. Yeah, and the last six years have been best successful. And they live on a blue wolk, not on a rose wolk, but on a blue wolk. The club underwent several name changes from FC Bourgeois to Royal Bourgeois before finally settling on its current name. Club Brugge Koninklijke Voetbalbereniging, Club Brugge Royal Football Association. A manier van leven, a way of life, je staat ermee op, je gaat slapen. They are nicknamed the club, Blue Blacks and the Farmers. With the latter reflecting the club's reputation as the team of the common man. Het is één warme familie, solidariteit over heel de lijn. Club Brugge is the powerhouse in Belgian football. It is the second best team that win the most national championships. It got 18 national championships and 11 cups. The club is the only Belgian team to have ever reached the point of the forerunner to the Champions League and play second in the UEFA Cup. Ja, het is wel waar dat Club Brugge supporters meer van over heel België komen. Als, uh, we zijn voor, deze week naar Benfica Club Brugge geweest. Yeah. En daar waren de mensen die Frans praten, ook meer Franse mensen die kwamen. En nu de City Brace themselves when those two teams meet. So let's find out. Because there's still two teams here. There's, there's not a lot of cities in the world, also in small countries like Belgium, uh, where you still have a derby. So the derby is folkloric and very nice still to have. Actually, both chapter fans don't argue about how big the club is, or how big the team is, because it's a more David versus Goliath story. However, they do argue about to be the club of Bruges, to be the genuine club of Bruges, that really belong to the city of Bruges. The main difference, there's no, no real difference now, only that when you go to a circle game, you know everyone, and you go to a Club Bruges game, it's the, well, now, they're the biggest team in Belgium. The nationale trots van België met een stevige lokale verankering, maar met een enorme nationale populariteit. En we recruteren supporters vanuit heel België, alle provincies heen. Uh, although that uh, circle has uh, fewer fans, but uh, let's say that 99% are from Bruges yeah. and at club, uh, unfortunately, 70% um, comes from outside. The rivalry between two teams represent a division in class, reflecting the differences between the elite background of Sjerkwijk Brugge and the working class roots of Club Brugge. The deeper roots of this divide can be traced back to the 1830s, when a conflict arose between the new national education system established by the government and the established Catholic educational system. This conflict translated into the divide between Circular, originally founded by students from the Catholic Francis Xavier Institute, and FJ Bourgeoise. The majority of the SA Bourgeois players came from the non-religious Royal Athenaeum. Almost each other's equal, huh? but now they are, uh, let's say, uh, on paper, <laughs> the, 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 the best, the richest club. And we're oh, somewhere in the middle, you know. <laughs> Ik weet dat voor Circle zijn er maar twee wedstrijden die ze willen winnen, want ze hebben niks in hun leven. Het is echt een saai leven, want eerst eenmaal in de twintig jaar spelen ze een, een bekerfinale en voor de rest is het echt uh, saaie uh, seizoenen. Voor Club Brugge, we willen iedere wedstrijd winnen, ook de derby, om te kunnen zeggen wij zijn met recht en reden de ploeg van de stad. Daarom gaan we nu gaan lopen voor de derby om, ja. Okay. Dan zijn we nog vrienden, maar yeah, daarna gaan we nog ja. <laughs> This long-standing rivalry dates back already at the late 1800s, but it has been documented from the 1900s. So far, 174 games has been played. Schalke Brugge won 31 matches. Club Brugge won over 100 matches. And 37 matches ended up in a draw. All will win. Yeah. Easily. Easily, easily. easily. Really? Yeah, Club Brugge is in the trenches. Yeah, it's going to be difficult to hear, I think, because Club Brugge is the last time not so well busy. Technically, we should be able to win this, but well, we never know. We have a derby, in the real special, but it doesn't matter where the class of the team is, it's a fight. Eerlijk gezegd, ik denk dat het gelijk spel gaat worden. We kunnen overgaan en die overwinning binnenrijven, en dan kunnen claimen dat wij opnieuw de ploeg van de stad zijn van Sandbrugge. Derby day today. I walk now to the ground of both teams, Jan Breidel Stadium. I'm very curious what we see. I'm very excited today because the derby vibes kicking in.
calmness now the recap of the game I just went to the away end of Klubbrugge I didn't know that because I had a ticket so they showed me around but um, overall whatever both Chatter fans say it is an intense game it is an intense derby especially in the last 20 minutes Klubbrugge came ahead again by 1-2 and then suddenly by ahead or suddenly out of nothing in the 18th minute it came it became 2-2 it was a very intense game. But all the crowds, Club Brugge, Cirque Brugge, they all live intensively with the game with a lot of passion. And overall, it is 2 all or 2 2. And I think there's a good closure of the day. This was the episode on the Bruges Derby. Let us know in comments with other underrated football derbies or rivalries we should cover in the future that deserves more attention. For now, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. See you at the next one.